my channel. I'm Cherry, day 12 of um, the squat challenge for American Cancer Society. So this morning I woke up and got ready. So let's get these done. So um, I read someone that is supposedly doing these challenges messaging me. So my knees kind of are bothering me, but got to do it. Got to do it, guys. But yeah, I can feel my thighs are getting. I do have muscle. Unlike those ladies, I got muscle. So let's get to the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, guys, this stomach of mine. I don't know how these girls can have a stomach like theirs and and still do things. But up here, um, I was a Penn State fan. I kinda still is. I got to meet the we got to meet the head coach um uh, at a seven on seven about about four years ago, I got pictures with him. My son's got pictures with him. So I'll insert them after I do this. So yeah, it was it was a nice time. I really got that. That's when I was still right after being big, <clears throat> being 295. I could barely walk that day. So that was another wake up call. It was so hot, I almost passed out. So yeah, so I'm more of an Avernia University fan because that's where my boys play football. So, let's get to two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, every month I take measurements to see how if I lost inches. I lost a lot of inches since I dropped weight. So what you need to do if you start your weight loss journey, don't really focus too much on the scale. Focus on inches every month. I measure yourself every four weeks. I do my neck, breast area, waist area, hip area, left and right, biceps, calves, and thighs. So... I really don't really focus too much on, you know, my weight. So, if you notice, I always touch my ears. We have spirits in this apartment, and they're always constantly touching me. And I am so sick. I get this really bad, weird sensation in this, this ear a lot of times. If you see me, it's because I'm getting touched. I'm really uh, an empath. And... And I'm so into the spiritual world. And, you know, Buddhism is, spirit, is a spiritual philosophy that I follow. So they all know, come bother me, come bother me. But I also know a, a few people that passed on since I've been in this apartment. And I know they're here with me. So especially tomorrow's anniversary. Oh, God, I just remembered. Tomorrow's anniversary of, um, of a guy that I was dating we clicked we we were i knew he was well, he was really my soulmate but he died of an aneurysm and it's tomorrow so all right i forgot to mark that i did too but that's just that thought so let's get on to the third one guys and uh one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I tried to forget. And I just looked at the date, and tomorrow is the anniversary of his death. So he probably is over here touching me, touching me, my ear. I know a lot of you don't believe in the spirit world, but. Until you see it and hear it and touch it, and you know they're there. 
And I was watching Supernatural last night, and they had an episode of Hellhounds. We heard Hellhounds that night. And I don't even want to go back to that place for a while because I don't want to interact with no hellhound. They stay with you for life. If, you, if they look at you in your eyes, they will stay with you and haunt you forever. So I'm trying not to do that. But um, let's get to the fourth one, guys. Um, whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a lot of people think this is silly, but you should stretch even your everyday and um, everyday life. Even if you stretch your arms, sometimes I'll sit and do this in the car because I use, you know, your arms for driving. And I drive a lot, so, you know, I'm having short bum. shoulder issues. And I think it's because of the way I'm sleeping. If I sleep, I've just been a little anxious about this COVID situation because our schools, the two schools that I drive for, have serious cases. And... I can't, I can't afford to get COVID. And then I just found like my heart, the guy that I've been talking to, talking to for now for that 18 month, he's got COVID and now he's quarantined. He's 13 years younger than me, so he can handle it, but yeah. Another person next, another person that I know got it. So yeah, kind of feel a little blue this morning, so. But I'm still up doing my squats and I'm still not making excuses for not exercising. So we all going through that. I'm telling you, and I can't imagine having someone. We did have a uncle on their the great uncle on their side that passed away. My kid's great uncle. He passed away. He was in their nursing home. They also had a neighbor they all they were, you know, really close to. They he had died around the same time. He lived and he had been in, just went into a nursing home and they both have Alzheimer's. I know it's a two link too also, but I don't, it probably has nothing to do with it. But having Alzheimer's do cause health issues. Cause I know my grandmother passed away from that. All right guys, so, um, on my fifth one. Like I said, today my mom and I, I'm here, but I'm gonna double check this footage before I upload it, like I did yesterday. Make sure I did do my 50. So here I go for the fifth one. Ugh, my dog in retreat. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. All right, gang. It's the fifth one. And I will insert those pictures at the end, so I may get to walking. So I'll be back soon. It's nice outside, so if you, hopefully it's nice running you. It's just foggy again. So I'll talk to you soon.